Okay, welcome back for another tutorial. Um, a while ago, I did a tutorial about uh, painting in Krita uh, with 2.79 version of Blender. And uh, it's kind of neat the way that you could sort of paint whatever you wanted as a texture onto your models. And I was asked um, to look into it for 2.8 as well uh, to see how it does with the EV engine and if that trick still works. And, uh, and it does. Uh, you have to go about it in a different way, but I'm going to show you what that way is today and uh, hopefully this is going to be uh, a neat little trick for, for people to learn. So I've just modeled a, a pretty simple um, object, <laughs> a box of some sort. Um, and um, what else have I done? I put, uh, so I'm, I've got the EV engine as the render engine. Um, I have added a, just a pretty simple metallic shader to the object itself, and I've UV unwrapped it. Um, and so I figure, you know, all of those things are way more important to learn how to set um, before you start painting. So hopefully you know those things first, and uh, and we can just get into the painting side of things. So I'm going to go up to texture paint, and what I'm going to do is. Uh, go over to this section here and add in a base color and um, and just start painting away on my model. Now, nothing happens. <laughs> um, actually, I didn't set the base. Okay, so I just had to hit OK. Okay, so we've got a, a base color there. Great. I'm still learning my way around 2.8. Uh, I'm so much more comfortable with 2.7. Two, two, 0.79, but I spent so much more time in it, so that makes sense. So, uh, bear with me as I, as I learn my way around 2.8. So, I've got a base color here. Nothing showing up here. Just um, pop over to shading, pop back to texture paint, and then all of a sudden, okay, now you got your um, your base color showing up. Um, if we want, we can we can sort of mark some areas um, for later, just to sort of see where we might want to uh, do some painting work inside of of Krita. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is just uh, save this image, material base color, and uh, I'm going to go over to Krita now and open up that material base color. Okay, so there it is. So I can see sort of, um, I know right away, okay, this corresponds with with this right here. So, I mean, one thing I can do is just start start painting. I've added in another layer. I've got all these great brushes inside of Krita, and so let's just do some watercolor painting. I'm going to save it. Hit OK. Um, go back to Blender. And now here's the difference between 2.79 and 2.8. Um, so in 2.79, what we would do is now we'd re-render the image. So we hit F12, and now all of a sudden what we painted inside of Krita would show up. Um, it's actually a lot easier, and uh, and I'd say better with Eevee. What we're going to do, we're going to learn a new shortcut. It's Alt-O, and that allows us to reload our material base color. And there we go. What we painted inside of uh, Krita now shows up on our object here. And so there's lots of lots of fun things we can do then inside of Krita. Um, it's got this neat rust texture. Let's just put that on. Maybe blend it in a bit. Krita's got this cool gradient erase. And I'm just gonna duplicate that and move it around a few times. I have no idea if this is going to look any good. Um, well, there we go. Save it again. Go back to Blender. Make sure we're over on the left side. Alt O. Material based color. And there we go. There's a. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look great, but uh, maybe from a distance it looks okay. Uh, yeah, so really you can now just paint whatever you want, go back into the shading, um, mess with the uh, mess with some of the um, uh, shader settings, a bit less roughness, 
more reflectivity. That's way too much for a rusty object, but you can kind of see how you can play around with that now. Yeah, and then if you want to add in other things, uh, let's say we want to say we want to put a logo somewhere on our object here. I'm just gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just mark mark the spot where I want, for instance, a logo to go. Put a little dab of of paint right there, and um, and what I can do actually now is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Alt S, so I'm gonna save this, save over my. Uh, material base color go back to Krita control O to open it up so now we're actually working with what we did in Krita right there and there's the little dab of paint and um, there's an older one there so get rid of that and so yeah so if we want to put in some kind of logo I just found a little something online um, and so we can put that on that spot, um, let's. What we're going to do here. I love these sites that offer you transparent PNGs that are actually um, JPEGs. So, just use the magic wand to grab what we actually want. Go up to select. We're going to invert the selection. Hit delete on the keyboard, and there. Now we've got our got the image we actually want. And let's. Um, Use a gradient erase to just fade it a bit, not quite that much. Blend it. Drop the opacity maybe a little bit. And then take it and resize it, place it on the location that, uh, that we want. And if we want, let's paint over that uh, that little blue blue mark that we had there, and hit save, and we can see if this is actually going to appear in the right spot. So I'm gonna reapply the symbol. Okay, so there we've got the Decepticon symbol on the side of our our box. And if we want it to um, to be upright. Just go back and um, rotate symbol 90 degrees, and that should make it so that it's standing up. Let's see. Okay, there we go. <laughs> so I hope this was helpful. Um, so yes, you can use Krita as a painting tool um, in conjunction with Blender, and um, works great with the. Uh, with EV and, and Blender 2.8. So thanks for watching. Um, hit subscribe and thumbs up if you like and thumbs down if you didn't. And uh, let's hopefully be out with a new tutorial soon.